A Chicago woman wanted a drug not approved for COVID treatment. Her case drew attention and the hospital was targeted by her supporters. Fox 32's Joni Lum has more. Healthcare workers at Amita Health Resurrection Medical Center have endured telephone harassment over the treatment of Veronica Walski, who died here this morning. The medical examiner confirmed the death of 64-year-old Veronica Walski, who had a following through her YouTube and Facebook videos. She broadcast messages about politics and COVID-19 and staged a daily demonstration on a bridge over the Kennedy Expressway. She was admitted to the hospital with COVID and reportedly asked to be treated with ivermectin, a drug used on livestock with parasites. The FDA, CDC, and manufacturer do not recommend the drug for COVID treatment. A podcaster urged QAnon followers to call the hospital to push for ivermectin to be given to Wolski. Chicago Health Commissioner Dr. Allison Arwady is familiar with the drug. Really, really, really clear that in no case should anybody try to take a veterinary formula ever of any medication. And unfortunately, this is what we've been seeing. People have been um, trying to buy veterinary formulations of this deworming medication. So they're taking doses that are dosed for horses or cows. Um, and we have seen people have liver problems and nausea, but like all kinds of issues. You know, I am a little surprised, I guess, that there are people who want to take a, a veterinary medicine that is not FDA approved, but then, you know, don't want to take the, the vaccine that has had, you know, really widespread human trials and, and, and is approved. Supporters of Veronica Walski say they will hold the hospital responsible for her death. The hospital issued a statement saying all along that their priority was the health and safety of patients and they will have no further comment.